Since every patient who has hepatitis C going into a liver transplant will have hepatitis C coming out of that liver transplant, and since with immunosuppression it will be much harder to get rid of the virus after the transplant than before, we have had a long-standing interest in trying to get rid of the hepatitis C prior to the transplant. Obviously, if you can do it very early in the disease course, you may obviate the need for the transplant. But, even if you can't eliminate the need for the transplant, but could get rid of the virus, then you would have a liver that would last ostensibly forever. So we've had a long-standing interest in trying to get rid of the virus prior to the transplant in order to prevent hepatitis C recurrence. Initially, when we tried this in patients who were sick on the waiting list, interferon was poorly tolerated and couldn't really be used or achieve a successful eradication of the virus prior to the transplant procedure. With the advent of a living donor liver transplant and the ability to time the operation, early research showed that if you transplanted a patient while on the treatment with an undetectable viral load in their blood, removing the liver at that time and replacing it with a new one would cure about 80% of the patients who were on the treatment. And so the problem was trying to do the transplant when the patients were on therapy. And given the unpredictable nature of waiting for a deceased organ donor, the living donor is ideal for this type of approach. We studied this in a large multi-center NIH-funded study called A2ALL, or Adult to Adult Living Liver Transplant. And in it, we used a low, accelerating dose of interferon and ribavirin, starting low and working our way up so the patients could tolerate it. We could use slightly healthier patients because they had a living donor. And when the virus was negative in their blood, for about 12 weeks, we could do the transplant and cure the patients both of the hepatitis C and of the underlying cirrhosis or liver cancer. And so this is an exciting opportunity to be able to take patients who need a liver transplant and cure both their cirrhosis and their hepatitis C.